Okay, welcome back to this final part of this 16 drug test cut uh, demonstration. We've now waited for the full 10 minutes for the development of the uh, test results on this cut test and we're just now going to run you through the interpretation of these lines. Now you will see all 16 we've got really nice strong control lines along the top. The control line is the, the top line that forms nearest the abbreviation for the drug code. And then if we compare all the test lines, you'll see that there is quite a bit of variance in the colour density, thickness and strength of those lines. If we look at the opiate test line here, for instance, it's a lot thinner and fainter than the corresponding uh, test line next to it, which is MDMA. Now, if we go around, you can see that all those lines are clearly discernible, though. Now, what you must not try and do is interpret anything from the colour density, thickness, of the test line at all. If it is there, if it's thin and it's faint, at the read time it is a negative result. And the one we're going to draw your attention to is the, the test on the end here for pregabalin. Now, don't know whether the camera is going to pick this up, but that is a very thin, very faint test line showing at 10 minutes. Now, it's very difficult to discern and I don't think the camera is really going to do it justice. But that emphasises the point here that if you've got any discernible test line, even a ghost line showing, at the 10 minute read time, you must interpret that as a negative result for that drug group. So although that line is extremely faint for pregabalin, this is a negative test result. And the sample here is clear for all 16 drug groups tested. So that is a very important point when you come to interpretation of these results. If any result was positive, there would be absolutely no line showing at all in the presence of the control line. That drug group should then be confirmed using a laboratory accredited UCAS certificate, certificated method of confirmation, which is a GCMS or an LCMS test. So the sample should be sent for the laboratory. They would have a look what's causing the positive test and give you a certificated report showing the levels of the drug that were detected that were the reason for that. So there you have it, the new 16 test. This is one of the largest cup tests available currently. It really is the behemoth of drug testing options, screening for all 16 in a single sample like this. So really you are screening for just about everything that's practically possible and common in a drug sample or screening program that you'd want to, to look for.